Hello again Guardians, today I want to be talking about the fact that the House of Wolves is going to release with absolutely no raid. Now this is a very two-sided argument, I know on one side you've got everyone going, Bungie, how could you do this? No raid, we need that raid, the raid is a one piece of content we really really want. But then on the other side you have everyone who's been begging for the horde mode for ages and ages and ages, please can we have a horde mode, we really want a horde mode. Now I'll admit, I'm on the horde mode side, I'm really excited for this Prisoner of Elders. The reason I'm not too bothered about there not being a raid is because I find the most enjoyment when you first play through a raid and you have to work everything out and it takes around 8 hours to complete. I think that's just so much fun to do, but after that it just becomes a grind. One playthrough and then you're pretty much done. However, Prison of Elders, they are claiming that it's going to have replayability and variety. So this suggests to me that every time you enter it, if it is some sort of horde mode, you might have different bosses spawning, different enemy waves coming at you, and I am so pumped for that, so, so excited for that. They're actually going to be live streaming this on May 6th, so if I was you, I would definitely, definitely check that out, because I know I will be. I don't think they've announced a time or anything yet, because it's quite, quite a long time away before it actually happens. But if you remember back to Winter's Run, a strike that everyone's probably done a million times now, there's a line of dialogue you probably heard right here. A cell from the Prison of Elders. The Archon Priest is still inside. So if you have heard that, you'll know that Axar Archon Priest is actually from the Prison of Elders. He was trapped in there, and we also know from certain Grimoire cards, I believe, that there are other high-ranking Fallen also trapped inside the Prison of Elders. So, you know, the potential for bosses that could be in there, there could be Servitors, different Archon Priests, different, you know, all sorts of things in there. But, in the one screenshot that they've showed us so far, it seems to be a big Servitor eyeball staring down at us through a door. But then, round the edges, on the floor, there's also Hive Barnacles and Hive sort of crystals and things. So whether we're going to see Hive within the Prison of Elders as well, maybe even Vex and Cabal, and this is pushing it a little bit, but this is a prison where they keep seriously dangerous aliens and lots of other races and such. We might even see some new aliens, you know, there might be some new races that we haven't seen before. That is really pushing it, I know, and that's a really slim chance. They will probably save that for Destiny 2. But realistically, if it's a prison where they keep really dangerous creatures, there would be other races. So, I'm not sure if it's going to have any story based around it and how it's going to work. If it's just going to be one arena, that's not what I want at all. But, you know, I'm really, really pumped for this. I am so, so excited for Prison of Elders, and I think you should be too. Because it's something new. They did... They could, you know, they could always release a raid still, but you know it would be sort of unfinished and incomplete and nothing like the Vault of Glass was, kind of like Crota's End. Crota's End was fun, but it nowhere near had as amazing mechanics as the Vault of Glass did. They did also say that just because there's no raid coming now, there will still be one coming later in the year. Whether that's going to still be a House of Wolves raid that we're going to get free later on, or it's going to be a raid that comes out with the uh, Comet Plague of Darkness sometime in September, I'm not entirely sure. But either way, I'm pumped for everything, and I just think everyone should give this, uh, I've forgotten its name now, Prison of Elders. Just seriously, give Prison of Elders a chance, calm down with all the rage and stuff, because I think it's going to be amazing. And the replayability and variety, if they really are claiming that's going to be there, that is something this game needs considering everything has been based around the Grindfest so far. So that's pretty much all I wanted to cover. Thank you very much for watching. Destin over and out, Guardians.